We're rolling. We are rolling. Timer's on. I'm gonna scoot a little closer here to. I think uh, everything's working. I think so. I'm feedback. So. Um, we're gonna get whatever we get feedback wise. Right. So. Sounds good. Be what it's gonna be. Holler in there. You don't have to. How's it going? Yeah, you don't have to get too okay. close. It'll pick up whatever. Chuck's brought something from Florida. Oh, did he? Yeah, he brought something from Florida to smoke. Awesome. What episode are we on, Chuck? Uh, 31. 32? 32? 33, maybe. 33. We're in our 30s. Something like that. Nice, nice. Get that light get cutter. <sighs> oh, come on now. If you don't like that, I got a V cutter, I got a straight cutter. Yeah, his audio is terrible. I'll do his audio. I'll do whatever, there you, go. you know. Yeah, so you just kind of want to go in well, about right there. If you, oh, yeah, that's better, bud. If you aim it nice. Nice. Look at that. There you go. So if you aim it down, maybe you can turn around and aim oh, it down. Sound? Well, I got the boom and boom. Sounding okay? Sound like you're far away. Yeah, come closer to me. Yeah. Well, I'll do that. Yeah, that's better. Here. There you go. So, episode in our 30s. We are uh, filming from the Stone Castle uh, at Leo's house. I am in the child seat, clearly. Well, we all are, I mean. Yeah, except so for this, Leo. Bar this bar top is not the correct size because it's supposed to be 43 inches from the floor to the ground. Well, with me buying my... What the... Butcher block table. Is he on? Was yeah. Like this mic's on? Yeah. 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 All right. Chuck, what's there's this, this, this slider. Big can. Of, this is. That's that spray paint can. Take the lid off of it. It's not where I expected the flame to come up. And it's kind of funny how it's like almost a letdown. <laughs> you shake it first. Like a spray paint, Gee. and then there's this one here, like a Bronson Bronson burner. It works. All right, we're five, about five minutes in on this, so we're going to uh, start over here. We're well, not start over, but start over. No, not start over, but welcome to episode thirty something. We are at the Stone Castle with Leo Stone. Thank you guys for coming down. I really enjoy having you down here and showing off what started out as just a garage with a Harley in it and been adding stuff. It's a work in progress every day. There's something new and uh, since my health has gotten bad, my wife and her dad have been doing a lot of this stuff. And uh, so I just sat back and say, yeah, put that there. Yeah, put that there. Sounds good. You can't see the on screen but the rams stuff yep. i used to have a rams truck showed it at car shows uh received i got 30 signatures on the seats uh st louis rams gave me a game worn ryan tucker uniform didn't have any extra helmets uh i've been looking for a mannequin to put it in on you know because it's just now on an IV pole that was broke at the hospital and they were gonna throw it away so I said I'll take it. Um those are ZZ top figurines up there. Yes, ZZ top. Oh in the very top. Yeah right there. No, those are cool. Where'd you get those? Uh ordered them from Amazon because I'm a big ZZ top fan also. Nice. And then I love the Sons of Anarchy and the four people right there were the only characters that they had. And then behind that is some jars filled with cigar bands over the years uh it's a pretty cool setup here leo you got a little uh, heater i was down here in the winter that thing yeah. sweated us out air conditioner i need to move it out i have to get my father to move it out of the window because the filter needs changed and uh so it's not as cold but it's 80 or 91 i think my phone said earlier yeah, it's hot outside, buddy. Yeah, it's, it's, real hot it's outside. miserable outside. I did not walk the dogs today because it was oh, way, way too hot. And then I got to get my jukebox working. It'll play, but it doesn't let you pick a song. 
and then it plays. It'll just randomly play. Well, that's kind of fun. It's it's like yeah, shuffle. Yeah. It's like shuffle all the time. And that's then I, I have it. Right. I collect all kinds of stuff. I got my Carlito bobbleheads that I won, my uh, Arturo Fuente ashtrays, and uh, the sack of squatch up there. Sack of squatch. <laughs> You got a lunatic band yeah, on it. Yeah, when I, I spoke like from that 8x80, yeah, I put yeah. it on him. Uh, Dean Martin used to sing, and then James Brown used to sing. And as you can tell, if you're looking around, I collect a lot of stuff, you know. that I got a bunch of trophies. I give them to a buddy of mine to display with his car. He gave me about five or six back, you know, because I said I got a little room in here. So... We still got shelves, uh, all them cigar boxes that you had given me. Right. They're going to go in spaces along the wall and everything to Very fill cool. in, you know. Very just, cool. Just getting it ready, you know. and. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's turning out awesome. I'm it's more actually, awesome each time. Probably today or tomorrow, if I can get my father-in-law, I'm going to have a Pac-Man game over here. Oh, yeah. This guy out in Godfrey has it on Facebook. Nice. And uh, he said, I don't have the bottom riser to it, but I bought a table from Ikea, and you can have that to go with it. Okay. It made me a good price on it, 250 There you go. Yeah. So, I mean, you can get a brand new one for 400 at Walmart. Right. And this here is a... Yeah, yeah. Notes on a cigar. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting off pretty uh, pretty mellow, the cigar is. Uh, Chuck, what are you smoking? Something you got from uh, Florida? I bought this in Florida. It's a Chaffiat, I guess that's how you pronounce it. If you pronounce Speak it right, no then evil. I'll be mad. Yeah. Chaffiat. Chaffiat. no evil. I think that's how you pronounce it. C-H-A-F-F-I-O-T. Is that a strong cigar? Uh, they were strong cigars, but this was supposed to be the mildest of all of them. Okay. So. Now, do you like a strong or a no, mild? Or? I like mild cigars. Yeah. I can't. I don't, I don't smoke them. Oh, that uh, we did that live Tuesday. Yeah, we do it Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. That short story kicked my. Yeah. <laughs> Leo, tell us, uh, tell us about these California Dreamings that we are smoking. Uh, Frankie Miguel Rodriguez, uh, the owner, the Bakerfield gentleman. They had some. <laughs> Sorry about. That. This is a classic podcast already. I guess Annabelle. It's the fish. Walk- I guess Annabelle walked by the ghost, that, and uh, but anyhow, <laughs> they designed these well, and hey, everything. And hold on, hold on, Leo. Okay. Are we gonna get canceled because of this? Like, do we not pay the copyrights? Oh, for I this? don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's playing on a Billy Bass. Billy Bass. Uh, no, I mean, do we gotta so. do we gotta pay Billy Bass or? Right. And it's you know how its mouth used to swing out. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. But it doesn't do that no more. And it just randomly but it just goes. Ran, it, it just, <laughs> And it's pretty cool. So I just say, uh, Annabelle just walked by, you know, the ghost right, of right, Annabelle. Right. I got Chucky up there. But anyhow, Frankie and Miguel, they had this one designed. And it's the Volume 1, California Dreaming. And sometime this year, they're going to have Volume 2. And they said, of course, I'll get to test some of them for them and like them and if I like them and all that. What's uh, where, What factory is this? El Artista. Uh, El oh, the Artista. Shit. What? I forgot. Forgot what? I forgot. To snap it? Oh, yeah? I, I'll still be able to sink it. It'll be all right. Um, do, you know where, do you know where that factory is? I do not. Uh, they're oh, in, you know, Bakersfield, California. It's got a, the Habano wrapper and uh, over all our Dominican binder and Nicaraguan Dominican and broadleaf fillers in it. And that's what uh, Miguel sent me to, you know, if I wanted to talk about the cigars. Well, of course we are. I knew what I was, you know, having you guys smoke. What, uh... A-R... Is that spelling correct? A-R-A... A-R-A. Yeah, I got it. The artist. Yeah. You're not doing something right there, buddy. Here's how it E L A R T I. 
I just wanted to see where they were from. Yeah. Oh, but, the Re Dominic Republic. Oh, they had uh, the Pariah Noir and Pariah Rush, and they no longer make them. And then they came out with the California Dream in Volume One. And they're going to be bringing out Volume Two here in a little bit. They said, and uh, I like it. It's a good smoke. And uh, yeah, it seems pretty mild right now. Yours is burning a lot better than mine. I need. I'm gonna have to retouch mine, but it. Uh, this will probably be my last cigar I'll have for a few weeks. Yeah. Because the PA wants me to not smoke for a week to week and a half so 19th many, is my surgery how many cigars were you smoking in a day up to today i would go through three a day three a day three a day maybe four depending on what time i get up right most mornings as soon as that sun hits the front porch right i'm awake at yeah. six o'clock and i i lay there and i try to stay asleep but nope i gotta get up so leo uh so you have three a day do you think it's gonna be because you're getting some nicotine with this, you know, with the with the cigar, um, you know, because uh, it, it's going to soak through the lips, it's going to come through the mouth, uh, and then <clears throat> your accidental inhales that happen anyway. Do you think that you can just stop cold turkey today after this? I'm going to have to. And I'm, this I'm is gonna, this is the last one. You're not going to. Yeah, I'm going to have to because I want to be. I'm actually. Is it so many hours? No, uh, surgery's on next, or the Tuesday the 19th, and she said at least a week and a half, so that actually... So tomorrow you could have Tomorrow, one. and I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, PT tomorrow, and then I got my blood work tomorrow. Now this is sh surgery on the shoulder, right? Yeah, I right? got three to don't, four tears. Don't put it off, just put them down. Uh-oh. Don't, don't put it off, just... I've quit smoking twice. Yeah, I started I, smoking when I was 13, and I quit smoking at 20. Yeah. And I just threw them away. If, oh, you, just, not, if you just put them down. Yeah, I'm not. I told her, as soon as this is done, I'll have a cigar probably when I get home. Oh, she yeah. She said, well, you're probably going to be still a little loopy. <laughs> Even so better. You met, yeah, exactly. Right. So I go, okay, don't worry. I can just tell you from quitting smoking that it's easier to just, because that's where most people go wrong. They're like, well, I'll finish this pack. And then they finish that pack, and it's just not that easy. When yeah. you when you when you're done, just be done. Well, I've I've had surgery on my feet, and the podiatrist never told me I needed to not smoke and all that, you know. So I don't know whether it's a well. How long ago was that surgery on the feet? A uh, year ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't like a long time ago. No. I think it's preference. Yeah, it's probably I that doctor. The PA. Yeah. I think the PA. There's doctors that, uh, you know, they'll they'll tell you to quit working out. You know, yeah. if, if yeah. you're, you know, it's like, well, you should stop working out if it hurts when you work out. Yeah, and she, uh, you know, I mean. You shouldn't. Right. You shouldn't stop working out. I, I told her, you know, I've been smoking since 15 and Dr. Holscher, I told him I'm not going to quit. And you don't inhale them. I said, yeah, you do get nicotine on lips and all that blah 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 but you know uh i'm not giving them up you know so i know a guy <clears throat> i don't want to say anything but i know a guy is going in for a pretty major surgery soon and he smokes probably two or three a day yeah and uh he did real good for a while when smoking nothing yeah oh, yeah really? he, he went oh. about he went about a week uh yeah. hanging out but when he was smoking two three a day they they did some blood work and they found mm -hmm. trace amounts of nicotine and he just said, well, I have nothing to do, so I hang out at the cigar shop. Must yeah. be secondhand. So even though he was smoking three right, a day, right. it's tra it, yeah. trace amounts. So, so that, I mean, was, that was good. It was only a trace amount. And he know? was smoking an easy three Churchills yeah. a day. Like, he was he was smoking wow. big ones, you yeah. know. So there, that, that kind of gives you an idea of, like, really how much nicotine we're really... I mean, he's smoking three large cigars a day. He's got yeah. trace amounts in there. So, you know, and I, I smoke probably three to four a day. You know, if I count everything I light, you know, like small ones, because I like this is this is probably the biggest cigar I'll smoke all week. I typically smoke smaller cigars, 
And yeah, I uh, like the I like the bigger ring gauge and the longer because I don't waste them. You know, like I see people and they'll get down to the band. It's like, well, I'm done with that. You know. Right. I you know I don't I had I got my little cigar got your, stick. Got you your know. roach clip. Yeah, no, I don't have a roach clip. But I got my cigar stick and it's just a new roach clip. Yeah. <laughs> And actually, out here in the man cave, I took some uh, cork screw yeah. yeah, and made my own with the nail, in case I forget to bring that one out here. There you, you know? go, right? And uh, how but, how was fireworks last night down here? Was it crazy? Yeah, Connie, right next door, our neighbor, yeah. she fired off a bunch of them. Oh, I, really? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was boom, boom. They were big ones. How's the dog do? He laid in a corner. Yeah, is that and, about it? Yeah, about it. And her husband, who's a uh, military Vietnam vet. Right. Uh, he was sitting right out there with them, you know, and it's right. like, hey, bing, so, bing, bing. So I was taking a shower last night, <laughs> and my dog, who's named Zeus, God, uh-huh. God of Thunder, was uh, so scared he was trying to get into the shower with me. Got Dad, his front paws in. Dad, help me. Yeah, so I was in the shower, and he was uh, staying as close as possible. So I slept, uh, I slept pretty uh, terrible last night because of the all the fireworks it, it felt like it kind of ended around 11 you know uh i don't know i was in and out of sleep but he would wake me up if there were some good big ones so. yeah I, I went into our bedroom and turned tv on and was watching uh csi miami right because it's palm trees and they got <laughs> H, H, h2s they drive around right so you know i'm in heaven right and uh couple of them that they set off over there i mean rattled the house it was that big and oh boom. wow it was like holy crap yeah it's good good time to yeah good time to like rob a bank everybody's getting calls exactly <laughs> well that's like you know when COVID all hit you know and we had to mask up i went into a bank one time and i said you know all my <laughs> life you couldn't do this right well then the bank would have a sign hey stop here pull your mask down Nobody did that. No. no, they just went in. I tell you what, every time I had to like go into the grocery store, I've just felt like I was invisible. So, because you know, it's like I, would, I would put my hoodie up, put my mask on. It's like, wow, nobody knows who I am, and that's not true. So, yeah, they still was, figure it out. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So Chuck, that uh, drew a state lighter. I put some fluid in it, you know, and it has like spit and sputtered. So I don't know. Did you purge it? Yeah. I just didn't expect it to come out where it came out. And I don't know whether I, I like how there's right. yeah, the balls yeah, in yeah, there. <laughs> That's a real cool lighter. That I won from Boston Jimmy out of Florida. So did you did you ever figure out who uh shirtless what? Mike? Shirtless Mike. Shirtless Mike. I follow him on Instagram. Do you? And, okay. you know, I've seen a couple of his things, you he, know. He was familiar with your name. Yeah. yeah. I was talking Well, to you know, and I mean. You're a popular guy on the internet, buddy. I, I don't like to brag about it, but, you know, <laughs> I talked to Carlito Fuente. Yeah. Melanie Cisco, Right. Uh, Ismail Olivan. Right. Uh, you name it. Uh, Nish Patel. Right. Sign the sign that I gave yeah, you because yeah, it was destroyed, yeah, right? And uh, I got another one that you, you know, and uh, talked to him, you know, on on Facebook and stuff like that, you know, doing lives, and Boston Jimmy and Lawrence Hendrickson. Yeah, he just had a birthday. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Dev out there, Dez Hammond, so, over over in the across the pond. Right. Him and Cy Sweeney. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I'm in a lot of cigar groups, and I just. Ever since I became disabled, I sit and I watch them, I comment, I, I share. Instagram, I haven't quite figured out how to do all the sharing, you nah, know. Yeah, it's harder. And uh, you gotta share it to like your story or send it to people directly. So, uh, well, what brought it up was he, he said he, he recognized the logo, and so I said uh, Chuck took some table thirty six and yeah, there. yeah, and to, that's where um, where he worked. To. Um, uh, you said it Tuesday. Yeah, I know it. I just can't think of it right now. The place where he works? Yeah, yeah. Smoke rings. Smoke rings, there we go. Merritt Island, Florida. Yeah, so he recognized the logo because of you. Huh, cool. Yeah, you, you should take over online sales, bud. Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, I 
like those pictures that I saw. The one of the old general store, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. sorry, when I see a table 36, I think of the western days. Yeah. And there was a, a old general store, so I put text on it, you know. And then there was a Clint Eastwood smoking one of his backwoods looking cigars. And they, they, they actually were backwoods. Yeah, I, yeah, that's... Yeah. No, he, they, he smoked backwoods on the movie sets. And uh, so I put, damn, General Store was out of table 36. Yeah. Sent him to Mike. I just like shit like yeah. that, you know. And I do love the brand. And I, I'm not saying that because, you know, I know you and all that. It's like I like these two a lot. They're doing pretty good as far good as, deal. like, customers. You know, they, they enjoy them, I think. Yeah. I yeah, like, they enjoy, you know, it's a medium body. It's nothing hard to smoke. Uh, you I know. handed out nine. Yeah, no. awesome. some of them smoked right then, right? I just gave them away. I right. just handed yeah. them out. Uh, the the Ma- manager, yeah, the manager, his name I forgot already too, and the uh, shirtless Mike guy, he smoked them. He, he, they were smoking awesome. right away. Nice. That's like down there when we was down in uh, Orange Beach, Alabama. Uh, there was Al's tobacco and liquor, and he had a, a nice humidor. It was probably the size of this room. Wow. Walk in humidor, right? And uh, then you know, of course, all the alcohol. And I picked out a couple of cigars, you know, just you know, because I go in, I want to. I was on vacation, and uh, they had this Deep Eddy vodka ambassador, and fell in love with it. It's like, told the girl, it's like, I'll give you two hundred dollars cash right now for that. She says, I can't make that decision. That'd be my boss, out. He'll be here tomorrow. I said, okay. She said, here's his phone number and all that. Call him, make sure he shows up, and talk to him. Right. So I did. I went down there, you know, and called from the parking lot. And he said, yeah, I'm here. I said, okay, I got your name from the uh, girl. The girl. I can't think of her name now. But uh, I said, I want to talk to you. I said, are you open? He said, yep, door drum, come on in. I said, okay. So I went in there, and I said, okay. I said, here's the deal. Came in here last night bought some alcohol, bought some cigars, fell in love with that Deep Eddy Vodka ambassador. He said, yeah, he said, that's new this year. Right. I said, I would love to have that in my man cave. Just, you know, displaying it. Right. He said, unfortunately, we can't do that. I said, $200. He said, I'd love to, but no. (laughs) He said, contact the Deep Eddy people. And so I did, you know. Right. Sent them an email and everything. They wrote me back. That ambassador just started this year, blah, 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 you know, and uh, I said, well, if you ever get one that's got a broken piece or anything like that, keep my name on the top of the list because I would love to have one. Okay, we'll we'll do that. So. Nice, nice. But it's, it's just... They give you a bunch of those? Yeah, they sent me a bunch of these, and that's what she looks like. Right. You know, and she just leaning like, you know, at, at a beach. But they sent me a bunch of these. They sent me... I got a pair of Deep Eddy socks. <laughs> <laughs> they sent me a, a bottle opener. And nice. Something. Oh, a, a scarf. It's around here somewhere, too. Right. But, you know, just for, you know, it's just like, okay, cool. Oh. It's like uh, Will, William Cooper de Coo, who does the talk show and everything. Uh, he said, you know, you're a great ambassador. You're always talking about everybody's cigar. You're sharing stuff. He sent me that one there in front of your phone. Yeah, yeah. The airplane. Yep. Yeah, you just posted a picture of yeah. that. And uh, I got a coin, challenge coin oh, over here on... Cigar Coop. Yeah. yeah, Cigar Coop. William Cooper's his name. And he said, you do a lot of stuff for all of us. You know, you're sharing our... Yep. He said, you're not... He said, don't take this wrong. He said, you're not loyal to just one brand. You share them all. I go, yeah, I do share a lot of stuff that I really, really like, like your cigars, the Bakerfield Gentleman. Boston Jimmy has a real good, his own brand. I don't know anything about it. Oh, right. He yeah. sent me a couple of them when I won that Drew Estate and all that. Nice. Have you smoked them yet? No. No. In, I mean, they've been in the humidor. It's at, it varies between 60 and 75. Right. So, there she goes again. All right. Annabelle walked by again. All right. Oh, damn it, Billy. But, uh, they got a pretty good ash on it. So I was just off. getting ready to say, and every time I start, or I would be on a podcast with like Gustavo, the GFP cigar. Right. 
and he'd be smoking, have a nice long ash. Like, damn, Gustavo, that's good ash. Boom, it had dropped. Like, Don't. <laughs> that was, I was actually just getting ready to say, look at the ash this thing's holding, and then it burnt my hand. <laughs> oh. So hey, nice. this guy, I haven't seen Gustavo lately. Is he, is he busy? Is he out of the country? Uh, was it personal? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, I just hadn't seen him lately. He actually came back this week. Right. And uh, he's getting back. He he wouldn't tell me a whole lot. Right. But he called me and everything. He said, one of these days, I'll let you know. Yep, yeah, well, fair enough. And, you know, oh, out. I got some things I'll talk to you about, you know. And, right. But uh, it is what it is. If you look around, you know, you'll see I'm a Pittsburgh fan, Steelers and Pirates. But I love our home teams, the Cardinals and the, Ra- oh, uh, the Blues. Stop it. stop it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and like I said, when I had the Rams truck, I was still a diehard Steeler fan. And all my friends in the car club said, how are you going to be? A Steeler fan driving a Rams truck. <laughs> I said that's getting a lot of likes, you know, yeah, and all that. So I'll sure. do it. Heck yeah. Well, I uh, I watch hockey, and uh, I follow the Blackhawks. When yeah, the Black Hawks, yeah. When the Blackhawks have a bad year, I switch to the Penguins or Bruins or, or the Kings. I really like the Kings, mm-hmm. or or a different team like that. So you got to have. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you like watching the stuff, you got to have a different team. Yeah. I, so. Well. Have, I never really liked the pinning, but, but I'm a Penguins. never the blues guy. So. You're never a blues guy. Never oh. the blues. And I was looking at. I was I was Rapper's happy for them when they won the cup. Yellow, but. so these are pretty age good. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, I mean. You guys watching Tour de France? I do not. Yeah, it's going on right now. I don't watch I, it. I any. watched a uh, video where a guy in the back of a truck grabbed a guy on a bike in the middle of the road, and shoved him off into the woods. No way. And then he got arrested and charged. Wow. On tour. He probably wow. should have. On the so, tour de France? No, oh, no. I was just a, some random uh, bike asshole in the middle of the street. Ah. Uh, wow. So he picked him up? Fuck. Yeah, he, they drove, he was in the back of a truck, and they drove up behind him and grabbed this dude <laughs> while the truck wow. was going, and he just, like, shoves him off the road. Whoa. I imagine the guy got hurt pretty bad. Uh, I'm it, sure. It, he had to get hurt really yeah. bad. And then he got arrested, and he, he deserved to be arrested, so... Oh, that's crazy. Can't, can't do that. <laughs> Got my skid lids hanging up there. Yep. And, uh, you know, I just... Yesterday was the big sprinter for the uh, Tour de France. Yeah, so, no, nobody cares. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Gustavo, he's the how's, actual how's Lance bicyclist his year? dad was. Still rich. Right. And uh, he posted a video one time of him on this training thing. And it was a bicycle. Right. And it does the yeah. rock and motion and everything. It's like, wow. Yep. So we're back from commercial break. Leo, are we going to uh, do a burnout in your uh, Hummer for a commercial break? If you think you could get it to do it, I can't <laughs> I get up in it right what now. The, what a huge, we'd have to have so much slippery water. I'm going to yeah. stand up just because it was hurting my yeah. back a little bit too. And you got a foot rail, so it's yeah. nice. I can't climb up in it because that's my arm that I used to grab to get it. Yeah, I know, but... I'm I, not doing a burnout in somebody else's vehicle. Why not? Well, because if, oh, uh, if it breaks, I don't want to pay up. for it. Right. I'll blow it up. I don't mind. Yeah, I got it. You told me I could. So we had... Uh, we we're down at the uh, Oklahoma uh, Chopper Fest, and this yeah. guy was on a bagger, and I, I didn't post a, a lot of videos. Uh, actually, the guy that was modeling for me, it was him and his bike, and... Uh, one guy that was naked yeah it looked uh, he was wearing kind of shorts yeah. um kind of shorts kind of shorts, kind of shorts. Every, they started out as pants and then it just kept he every, kept cutting them every yeah oh. it's, it just kind of became a thing down there uh for a lot of the guys uh i kept my shorts the way they were um yeah, yeah. they were short Thank enough you. yeah right now <laughs> there was uh there's a lot of dick and balls out so it was, it was 100 degrees so yeah. we're trying to stay cool but that same guy who uh, was my model? The reason he was on his bike so much is because it didn't go anywhere. 
Uh, he tried to do a burnout a couple times, and the only thing he burnt out was his clutch. Oh, wow. um, So new baggers uh, take a little bit of work, I guess, to uh, to uh, do the burnout. So that was uh, fun for everybody but him, you know, watching him roast his clutch up. Sturgis so. is getting ready to start here in a little bit. So, yeah, it's about two weeks away. It's yeah. like, uh, it's the end of July, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so we got a few weeks before that. So, yeah, I won't go to Sturgis. That's... Way. That was always on my bucket list. Yeah, but I never ever got to go. It's way too many people, man. Oh I, yeah, yeah. I've I've gone one time and and now nah, I'm good. So it's uh, you know, 100 degree heat in the woods, uh, uh yeah. in Indian territory. Uh, you that would know. be cool though. It was well, interesting. You know, scalping you no more. What are you worried about? Well, I was worried about him scalping some head. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know. So That's uh, racist. Yeah. So they uh, anyway, it was a great uh, great time, except for you know there's a there's a lot of naked dudes there. So that was interesting. Better than last year when it was raining. Yeah, and cold. definitely. Last year there was probably thirty to fifty people. You know, maybe a smidge more. Yeah. Um, there was a couple hundred people this year. Uh, lots of just unique styles of bikes that people actually rode well, in. You should have so. had some of the people on the reservation do a rain dance. You know to cool us down yeah uh yeah no we uh we, we we went to the cigar shop instead of the actual reservation oh okay we were in an indian casino uh-huh yeah i took the blanket so still racist this is a uh, this is a good cigar is it yeah You're this d- is a really good cigar is it any stronger not really no not it looks really. like it's it really would good be cigar. good yeah yeah it's a good one it's a cool band too i know yeah. So they had uh, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Okay. And then there was another one, but it was it was supposed to be a strong. And I don't remember what it was. It was separated from the rest of them. You know, I got new contacts in, and I still can't read that. Chaffiat. Oh, Chaffiat collection. I was trying to read the bottom word. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, Chaffiat. it's good. Good. Good label. It's a nice label. I got a couple in the humidor. Their name is One Night Stand. <laughs> Uh, and it has a little nice stand on the. Do you gotta label. pay? Do you gotta pay for it like 18, I, I 18 years later? Yeah. yeah. Be careful go, with that yeah, one. Go to your, <laughs> go to your girlfriend or your wife and say, "Hey, I want a one night stand." Right. She smacks you and it's like, "No, I was talking about a cigar out of the humidor." Right. But uh, what are we are we gonna cut apart? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. California dreaming. Yeah, you wanna unroll a California dreaming? You go right ahead. Right on. While he's doing that, Leo, I haven't seen these stompers in a long time. Is that the ones you put the pennies in? Are these? No. Oh, okay. They're, they they just they had soft tires. Yeah. Are, I don't know are, he uh, had them. Do you em. know if these are worth money? These are probably worth money. Yeah, I don't know. I got a whole box of Beanie Babies <laughs> with the tags. My wife, my oh, see, they first wife. Oh. Yeah. Well, do you I remember, remember the ones that you used em. to put the batteries in and they would roll around they were bigger than them though oh yeah 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 the well they weren't they weren't the little stompers these no the they were stompers yeah but they were but we were talking out here and he said well i've got doubles of all of them if you want them i go how much he said i'll give them to you nice i go okay so i still got to get a shell my wife for uh my birthday bought me a sound bar i haven't got it hooked up yet because i can't pull the tv out with well, one these, arm and these are on the table because i knocked them all down but they're four wheel drives. They took a beating. Right. Yeah. And it's probably. Yeah, I, I remember these from when I was a kid. Oh yeah. I I, I, uh, I didn't have them as a kid, but I had them as an adult, and they di- all disappeared. And he had them. He said I got a double set of them. And then he gave me that. I think it's a Coca Cola truck up there. Yeah. Now it's not part of the stomp or anything, but it looks really old. So, and when we was down in uh, Alabama. Christina, my wife, got me those $200 bills. The little coffin up there is from uh, Doug Cosier out of uh, Texas. He's originally from up in Illinois, but he started his own brand called the KO. And uh, had a little challenge coin, and he sent me two cigars in that coffin. Ah, that's cool. And uh, so, you know, it's on display here. But, uh, yeah, my, my bad. No, that's me. I don't have it bolted down or anything because I don't know what I want to do with it. Uh, I think I'm just going to shellac it, bolt it together, bolt it down to the bar, and live with it, you know? 
anybody says anything about it. They can leave. Because right. I'm Tim Taylor when it comes to measuring and stuff like that. So if you look at the side of the bar there, Chuck, there's about an inch and a half yeah. on, on yeah. both sides, okay? Yeah. So that makes this bar eight foot three inches. Right. My wife goes out to uh, Lowe's and she sees these. Ooh, that's a nice wrapper. Yeah, it's a nice wrapper. A good wrapper on it. Yes, Beautiful it wrapper. Look at that. And so she photos them and everything, and I go, oh man, that'd work good. So she bought them. Four foot, four foot is only eight foot, so I was three. Well, <laughs> well they probably weren't exactly four foot either. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah they probably exactly three foot something, foot, yeah. Right. But, uh, yeah, it's so probably. Anyhow, that's more. That's more lows we'll get than it her. down, and like I said, if anybody don't like the end of it being get you, um, get you a um, little one inch, uh, some little one inch fairing strips or some two inch. To, yeah, I'm not a carpenter. I mean, if you're gonna stain them, you just stain the pine, just sand it down and stand the pine, and just attach it to the end, and then that'll take up your slack. Or you can put it in the center, and that'll take up your slack too. Is that the binder there? This is the binder here. Yeah. End, is it? yeah, it's in there pretty good. Spam call. Yeah, you don't get too many spam calls anymore. Well, I had to change my number. Oh. Uh, I've got... Um, I still don't have your number saved. <laughs> I've got these uh, Hispanic people that, that I their family member used to have That's this number. Nice. So, so I'm always getting this these happy, these massive happy birthday texts. Nice. How many so. how many birthdays does uh, the previous uh, owner? I've gotten three of them so far. Nice. Since nice. I've changed phone numbers. Is it Feliz Copianos? But I got one. Or is yeah. It happy yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, Correct. Copianos. But uh, I got one. We were in Florida and I got one. And uh, some girl named Abby was oh, yeah. turning seven. And uh, and so I replied, you know, hey, I don't, you know, I don't speak Spanish, but happy birthday, right? <laughs> and so some lady comes on there and goes, oh, blah, blah, the, you know, she, she thought it was the same person from before. Don't act like you don't speak Spanish, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and uh, she said her name, and I said, hey, uh, I said, I don't, my name's Chuck, I'm a white dude, and I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> and so uh, somebody laughed, and then a couple other people laughed. And what I, are you in a group text? Yeah. Oh, man, you should have figured out where the party was. And, and I just said, I just said, listen, this is about Abby. I, yeah, her name was Abby. I said, this is about Abby. Let's keep it about Abby. Happy birthday. I hope you have a good day. And, <laughs> yeah. And then the lady apologized and stuff. And I was like, you don't have to apologize. Do you get a lot of people saying they want to follow you on Instagram? Yeah. And a lot. Yeah, that's just all spam. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of people. I just hit delete, block. Yeah. I add them. Bumps your numbers up. Oh. Oh, you add them? Yeah. Bumps there you your go. numbers up. I don't follow them back, but it bumps your numbers up. Chuck so. posted a reel down in Florida of him sitting at a table with the one wheel. Got over 100 likes. Where was it? On the Unrolled Podcast. You posted a Oh, radio. yeah, yeah. Uh, my phone. at Taco City. Yeah, my phone blows up. And I I'm like, like an hour, too. Yeah. Like, bam, what? bam, 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 bam. Awesome, yeah. I uh, just never know what's going to happen. Watch the shuttle launch or whatever. Yeah. That you posted and everything. Yeah, so when we got down there, uh, I knew of one shuttle launch. And then I we got down there, and I was, I was telling Sarah, uh, what it was is that picture I posted of that ship being towed in. Yeah. And uh, I was trying to figure out what that was. It looked burnt out, but I couldn't figure out what it was. And I looked at I looked at Sarah, and I go, you know, there's a really badass camera at the shop. And I could have gotten a really badass <laughs> photo of that ship. I yeah. could have gotten really badass footage of the of the shuttle launch. I could have gotten, and it's at the shop. Why didn't I grab that freaking camera? I'm gonna have to tear it some because <clears throat> they didn't think about it. Their bunchers are fantastic, so they're they're well. They said that it was. Yeah, it looks all like it's all good. I mean, it's the way it's rolled they and grew bunched. Up Dominican and broadleaf fillers. Yeah, it's all long filler, and it's just the way it's bunched and rolled. You said it's got some age on it. Yeah. It just, I mean, it's. I probably had them in my humidor now, six months. Nice. Yeah, I mean, what a. What a treat. I mean, it's actually, that's a well-packed cigar. There we go. Yeah, their filler is absolutely beautifully long. The only pieces here, me 
trying to un- right, yeah. trying to trying to unroll. Trying to unroll it. Figure on out how they podcast. rolled. It. Trying to figure out how they rolled it. Right. That's just a good bunching right there. I know you have rolled cigars before. Yeah. I've watched videos of it, and these people that roll them, and it's like they could do it in their sleep. Probably it's. They probably do do it in their sleep. It's just amazing, you know, and it takes them imagine. a very. Little. It's another fifty cents. Oh, speaking of, you know, I said that I love watching CSI Miami because of the palm trees. Yep, right. And the they got a the Hummers the same color as mine. Right. Newer and better looking, but still. Last night's show, they were when they did their screen setting and the guy was laying there dead. They <laughs> droned cigar. Nice. In the background, and I tried to freeze it to yeah. take a picture of it, but I couldn't. That's awesome. But it was it was like. Holy shit. Yeah, it looked like it was a good cigar. Not a whole lot of shake in it. There really well, wasn't. If, Buster, Chuck, yeah, I've that got was another sweet. one if you want to smoke one just to see. I've got one and I'll send it back That's with a you. That's sol- a solid medium body. Trust me, brother. I'll give you one. Solid medium body. Look, I, all that came out of there. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's a ton of filler. And I had to get me a stinky ashtray. I've always wanted one of them. And so I... Ordered that off of Amazon. Those are super nice for outside. Uh, when whenever somebody's looking for an ashtray to Don't buy. Don't worry about that. We'll clean uh, it up. Uh, and you know how it came about, the name and all that, right? No, I don't. Tell me. All right. Well, the guy, I can't think of his first name. He smoked cigars. And his wife wouldn't even let him in the house because he stunk. <laughs> so he built an ashtray. And she called it the Stinky Ashtray because <laughs> he he built it. And Is it the same company that makes the uh, the Mister Stinky? Yep. Car ashtrays. Yep. I need to get another one of them. Them plastic ones suck. So. And Boston Jimmy posted, and he's hot into it. But there's a new cutter on the market. Yeah. It's called the Baller. Okay. And it cuts a little ball hole instead of a punch. Right. I don't know how it works. Like an ice cream scooper? Just put but it in it's, there. But it's a it's a cutter. Right. And you squeeze it like a, uh, he said it's just like a V cut. Right. You squeeze it and then it cuts a little hole out of it. Huh. Hold on, see if I can find it and show That's you. pretty interesting. It's a yeah. little hole out of it. Yeah. It's called like the roller. Like a, like, like a, an ice cream like, scoop. Right, like a Dremel. Like yeah. a, huh. Uh oh. What? Somebody knocking? I don't know. Yeah. Scared me there. No, it's this chair, I think. Yeah. We're looking. I'm looking for it. I'm on Boston, Jimmy. You can't post so much. Is that it right there? Okay. Huh. Yeah, it kind of scoops it. Yeah. Makes it like a little ball. strange. I don't know how it does without tearing up the... The cap, even. Yeah. Because the cap's just glued on, so... That's kind of interesting. Got to be really sharp. Yeah. But it's called the baller. And there's another, if you hit the arrow down. This one? Yeah. I'll stick with my V cuts. And then it, he tells where it's from, somewhere in there. Yeah, I'll stick with there, my V cuts. There it is there. Yeah, he's got a little YouTube review on it. Huh. Yeah. But, uh... He said you work it just like a V cutter and it cuts out that little ball. Hmm. Like, okay. Cigar Medics. Yeah. That's who makes it. I won a That's long time ago on his show the humidimeter. You stick it in the end of your cigar and it yeah. tells you if your humidifier is working properly. Yeah, it's down there. It's dead. I've never used it. I'm watching him burn a, burn a label. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. I. It's weird. He maybe just likes fire. Now, have you heard that right. there's labels that you can actually smoke? They're part of tobacco. Uh-oh. They got tobacco? Yeah. It's like weird. They should put them on the ends. Then whoever puts the end caps, the people never remove. Well, they should, uh, well, like the Leaf by Oscar. I mean, that looks like a, have you had one of those yet? That's re- instead of self instead of cellophane, it's wrapped in another tobacco leaf. Hmm, no. We should uh, do those next week. I got uh, leaf by, yeah leaf by Oscar. Well, we've got that other Florida cigar that uh, Gazette. Yeah. To cut up. And then we also got 
Uh, we also have a box of samples to go through with a that were uh, they uh, come from Lars. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So, got yeah. a little box of samples to try Devin, out. He's going to send me some of his classic sticks. He wants my opinion on them. There you go. Yeah, is he moved now? Or is the house? They're the still trying to sell. Did you have you seen his? House <laughs> yeah, dude. That one, he's in one five million. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's oh, it's a, I, dude, it's it's got a pool. It's oh, cool. uh, it's, it's beautiful. But yeah. you don't want it. They don't want in California no more. And <laughs> they want to go to uh, around Atlanta. Atlanta area. Yeah. yeah. Around why? A, My I God, why? Well, he I mean, fell in love. Traffic. They went down there and he fell in love with it and enjoy that traffic. Well, he's in Florida, California. So George is a really nice state. George is a really, really, really nice state. It's, it's nice to drive through. Yeah. It's not, you know Unless what I mean? you get it's, caught on that one that, interstate. It's not that bad. It doesn't matter where you're at. 40 miles away from, 40 miles south of Atlanta and about 40 miles north yes. of Atlanta. It's, it's absolute garbage. Parking so, lot. Been there so, one time. So, Went to yeah. South Carolina to We're go on a cruise. We there every year and I hate it every oh, year. Oh, yeah. Can you go around like a 270? Do they so, have? so they got a bypass, but the bypass, so when you take the bypass, it sticks you literally, I don't know, 10 miles outside of it. So you're literally getting put right back into the people trying to leave uh, that garbage city. Any right. toll roads on your way down there? Yeah, there's a few yeah. toll roads. Oh, right? yeah, yeah well, in Florida, we just run them. Do you really? Pay by plate. It says pay by plate on the, on, the, on the thing, so that to me that means that I can just drive through and you'll send me a bill. Right. So that's what I do. I Have you ever gotten a bill? Yeah, we got a bill. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I found that out. I went to Chicago when we went to look at the Hummer. Right. All the lights were green. Green means go. Right, right. <laughs> Nobody, you know, I'm used to somebody sitting in the booth, you know, and taking right. your money or whatever. And all the lights <coughs> were all green. And I just kept going, you know, up to Chicago. I get home after we, you know, bring the car back because I twisted my ankle up there. had to have the Hummer shipped down. And I get a eighty dollar toll oh, bridge. Whoa! Now I can understand if I was from California and have to pay to drive on Illinois roads. Right. But I pay Illinois taxes. Yeah. I, you know, you shouldn't have to. Cook, they're cook. doing it by license plate. Right. Of course. It was a rental car, and I don't remember what the plate was. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that you know. was. But how'd and, you get the bill if it was a rental car? It went to Enterprise. And they forwarded and to they you? And they forwarded <laughs> to me, yeah. So that's funny. Yeah. Now, the one we got last year was only like four bucks. So, Come But this time, this time we ran those tolls four different times. So, Because oh. we ran them on the way in, we ran them on the way to the airport, on the way back from the airport, and then we ran them when we left again. So you get about a $20 mm-hmm. bill. Uh, I told Sarah probably expect about a $40, $40, $50. Well, going bill. to Chicago, I don't know how many we passed, but all the way up and then all the way back, and it's like, yeah, and I couldn't believe it. So I went out there and I said, why do I have a toll? I go, the lights were green. Well, yeah, they because of COVID and all this, you know, and I, are you kidding me? Okay, here's my debit card. Right. Take it away. Right. Well, I can just take that out of your deposit. I go, okay, then do that. Right. Yeah, they, uh, my, my uh, grandpa used to get speeding tickets, red light tickets or something like that from right. Chicago, and he's never been to Chicago in his life. <laughs> None of his cars have ever been to Chicago. Well, my they dad, just randomly sent. My dad, when he was alive, he'd never left the state of Illinois. We went right. to Missouri one time in his later years, and we went to Graceland after Elvis died. Right. He never left the state. He got one from Chicago right. for a parking ticket. Yeah. And I said, Dad, you so. never. And he fought it and didn't have to pay it, you know. Right. He had to prove that. So I had an ex. It's a funny story. Four minutes. And I was taking her. I was. I still had her keys to her car, and she was letting me drive it, even though her new boy, her new boyfriend, didn't know I was driving it. But I was going up and driving it, and uh, uh, she was a cheater, and she was a total piece of shit. So um, I would take her car over to St. Louis, and I would park it, and walk away from it for hours. And let her get parking tickets. Awesome. And then I'd take it back, take the parking tickets, you know, put them in my pocket, take it back, just throw them on, on the way on the way home. And uh, and I I don't I can't tell you how many she could, but I was taking I was taking her car over there. Awesome. And just leaving it parked. That's and funny. And then getting on the train and going here and going there and going here and go, you know what I mean? And just yeah. 
basically wasting time in St. Wasting, you know, two, three hours in St. Louis. And then she'd get, you know, all these parking tickets. That's fine. there. Well, they take pictures right. because right. Uh, I was getting parking tickets on a car I sold that I left the plates on. Oh, yeah? Yep. And so I had to report that plate stolen. And that car's been there for months, if not years. And that was a car I sold like five years prior. So, oh, yeah. Wow. they yeah, they're, I'm like, just tow it. Yeah. Like, just, it probably broke down anyway. So. Right. But, yeah, I was like, well, if I can go get that car back. Right. Apply for lost title because it was registered oh, to me. Yeah. yeah so I could have sold it again, but I just owned it because they wanted me to. I, I think I was up to like $200 in part because every time oh, the street wow. cleaner yeah. came through, they would ticket that car and they took a picture of it. I go, look at the. I go, what color is the tag? And they're like, oh, it's yellow. I'm like, yellow is four years ago. Right. You know, it's like, what are you doing? That was a stupid thing. Right. Yeah, it's just Collecting weird. money, that's what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, they're trying to. Collecting money. Well, I tell you what, before this here ends, I want to thank you guys for coming down to the Stone Castle. I enjoyed it very much. I uh, appreciate you guys coming down uh, and doing this. It's smoky in here. Those yeah, I smoke. don't have any way of getting rid of it. Right. Uh, that's the reason my father-in-law put the... Uh, took the screen door down because it was broke, of course. Right. And I normally open the big door, but in case they let put the a, rescue dog out, I didn't want him come running in. And put a fart fan in. Yeah, a little fart fan up there. Yeah, just put a fart fan in the, in the ceiling right here. Probably suck it all out. Well, it's got an attic, so yeah, it'll yeah, just that's go okay. It'll, it'll just it, it'll it'll suck it, it out, blow it up there. Just a little bitty fan up there into the yeah, okay, yeah, but a fart fan for because uh, I know Mark, my father-in-law, he smokes cigarettes. He don't smoke cigars. Right. His brother smokes cigars, so when we're in here, Mike's been in here before, you know, and yeah, oh, it, it gets it gets smoky, and I'm sorry for that. Right now. Yeah, my eyes are on fire. All right. <laughs> yeah, it don't. It, I mean, it, it's not bothering me. I like it. Well, you get used to it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You get used to but, it. That is a good idea. I'll put a... Yeah, if you put a little fart fan right above... Especially if you're sitting here most of the time. You yeah, put this a little right. fart fan right above Yeah, here. it'll pull. It'll, yeah, I bet it'll pull it all out. Yeah. And just let it go up to the, to the attic, because right. the attic's going to air out anyway. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be hard to install at all, because you got lights right here. To, right. You know, as soon as you, turn the light, as soon as you turn the lights on, the fart fan will come on. Yep. And that's what you're doing out here anyway, smoking cigars. Yeah, exactly. So. Watching, you know, we watch the Super Bowl out here. And nice. You know, have to be out here for that, you know. And, right. Uh, if the Cardinals are playing and he's over here, we'll come out and watch the Cardinal game. And just get away from the women. He smokes cigarettes and drinks beer. And I drink Pepsi, maybe a Buffalo Trace or something like that, you know. And, there you go. You know, just have fun out here, you yeah, know. And that's what it's about. Our own little world. And well, good luck with surgery. Yes. Good luck with guys. not yeah. smoking. Right. <laughs> I just, I'm scared because... I'm gonna to have to be one armed, and my knees are kind of bad. So, right. yesterday I had to have help getting out of chairs over at her mom and dad right. because they sat so low, and Man, I felt I, so embarrassed. But I couldn't push up because right. this arm hurts. I mean that's it. And when I go to push and then it, I guess, uh, it, and then I have to go pop a hydrocodone, you know, and. Then sleep. Then sleep. Yeah. Right. Then that's sleep. what I do a lot of because when the pain starts getting bad, I go lay down and have a fan blowing on me, turn TV on, and go to sleep. Go to sleep. So, uh, congratulations to Jeff Stitch. He is officially on the list. Awesome. Yeah. So, Praise very, God. very next kidney. I'm a, I'm a firm his. believer in prayer and all that. And yep, the very next kidney goes to him. Awesome. So. All right. It's a good time to and end. There would be. Right. Come on in, baby. We're getting ready to shut down. Leo, say goodbye. Follow Leo right. on uh, uh, Facebook, uh, Leo Stone. On Instagram, what's your Leo Stone for? Leo four, Stone 4820. 4820. Yeah, I think so. All right. And then but, uh, uh, follow all of us on uh, Unrolled, Unrolled, and Unrolled. Cigar definitely, Podcast. guys, check out the Unrolled podcast. Look up AP in Rosewood Heights and AP Alton. Yep. See ya. Thank you. Thank you. I have a favor to ask one of you guys. Sure. Do you have a regular cigarette? Mm -mm. No. That's what I told him. For pops? No. For who? My cousin Jill's here. Oh. And yeah, I don't have my, any. My uh, Aunt Lori just stopped in. Oh. But you see that uh, crock pot there?